hi guys welcome back to another beautiful and exciting video my name is ogechi this is ogechi reaction i do reaction videos okay i react to videos and that's basically what i do here if you're stopping by for the first time thank you so much for stopping by okay do want to click on the red subscribe button like this video and kindly share okay this will do a lot of good some of you watch my videos without subscribing why 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 don't you want to join the army okay i'm a new girl in the block and i want to grow okay i actually want to grow so please help me subscribe share like and comment okay so just watch and leave thank you so much and to all my returning subscribers and viewers you guys are simply the best you know what you guys are going to do click on the red subscribe button if you haven't like this video turn on your post notification bell so you'll be the first person to know when a new video drops i drop two to three four videos every day so you guys get notified when i drop a new video today's video is from candice you guys know how obsessed i am with candice <laughs> okay please okay so this video is from candice following my the last video i did it's tied to the last video I did was um was um it was also from Candice, you know. Uh, Megan Marco started um a new podcast on Spotify and she got chopped off, right? Because she wasn't making money for Spotify, so Spotify, so she got chopped off. And today's video is titled it's coming from Candice Owens podcast again. It's titled Megan Marco has a new podcast. Okay, okay. I'm sure you're interested in, in what is going to, what Candice is going to have to say today. Let's get straight into the video. Happy vibes. Who do we get them from? Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. Yep, her the and Duchess Prince Harry Sussex. have wanted a new podcast deal after parting ways with Spotify. And that is amazing because Spotify lost so much money on them. And you remember one of the executives came out and said they quite literally have no talent. But worse than that, they don't want to work. Never, ever in the history of the world has there been a couple that has grifted as hard and as successfully as they have, right? You just grifted off of your family, haven't really done anything since, you keep getting awards, you keep getting these deals, I don't understand it. And the brand that they keep going into is this idea that Megan is a feminist, she's a true feminist, and that's why she's being awarded by Gloria Steinem, what she's just a brave woman. And yeah, I, I don't understand why her podcast, her original one, didn't take off. I've listened to it. I definitely would want to listen to this every single day of my life if there were more episodes. Let's just take it back to her old podcast that was on Spotify called Archetypes. When I was 14, I planned my wedding. Not my actual wedding. That would have been a bit harder to imagine. This wedding was an assignment for my religion two class in Catholic school. At no point could you say, nope, mm -mm. my dream for the future is to be single. The message, even at my feminist all girls school was as traditional as it gets. First comes love, then comes marriage. It was stunning, it? brave. <laughs> I don't know what that Spodcast executive was talking about. She's amazing. Well, I think that just like I always say in my two other videos about uh, Meghan Markle and her podcast, Failing and all of that, I feel personally that she has something to say to the women or to young women. And maybe not for Spotify because I think her, 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 her way or her method of um, storytelling, like storytelling, something like that, maybe not for Spotify, right? I'm sure she has something to say. Even Kylie is attest attesting to the fact that she has listened to the podcast and she would love to listen to more episodes because i mean it is inspiring but her the way she um the way she portrays or she comes off as it it comes off as like she's telling a story or something like that let's just continue watching i love her which is why it makes perfect sense that another company has approached her she has landed a new deal this is obviously less than a year after spotify said mm, no we're good you are losing us money well spotify that's kind of your fault because it's pretty obvious that these two are only good at selling their family um under the throwing their family under the bus and Megan has released a statement about this new partnership it is with lemonada and they're going to stream archetypes yeah 
They're going to handle all of the ad sales and the distribution. And, and remember, she had tons of people on to talk about this feminism. She had Mariah Carey, Mindy Kaling, and now they, they're going to take this on. Megan released this statement, I am proud to now be able to share that I am joining the brilliant team at Lemonada to continue my love of podcasting. Being able to support a female-founded company with a roster of thought-provoking and highly entertaining podcasts is a fantastic way to kick off 2024. Our plan to re-release Archetypes so that more people can now have access to it, as well as launching a dynamic new podcast, are well in the works. I'm so eager to be able to share it soon, and I'm overjoyed to be joining the Lemonada family. Yeah, she, she's not even going to do any work in the beginning. She's just going to re-release what she already did. And then I'm sure she's eager to do more, but the financial terms of a deal were obviously not disclosed. Lemonada probably just wants to get their name on the map. They're taking a chance. And I'm going to guess it's not going to pan out that well because people want to listen to something that sounds real. They don't want to be lectured about feminism. They don't want to be lectured about what they're doing wrong. They don't want to be told the patriarchy is all around them. And, oh, yes, remember when you were in high school and people were like, get married? Yeah, I do remember. It's an, as <laughs> it's an aspirational goal. Yes, getting married and starting a family is aspirational. Stop trying to convince us to do the opposite when you did exactly that. You got married, found yourself a prince, and pimped your way into Hollywood, which is where you always wanted to be. But let me stop. Let me. Did she just say pimped her way into the Hollywood? <laughs> oh my gosh. Why is that so funny for me? Why is it so funny to me? Like, she said pimped her way. <laughs> her choice of words are so funny. Anyway. Up. Well, we'll cover this obviously extensively when her new podcast that she's probably not going to do it hits the market. So I'm really proud of Americans. It seems like a lot of us are waking up to the understanding that our mainstream media is just possessed with propaganda. They're just state media. That's the way to think of it. This is the CIA elects them into these positions of power behind the scenes, and their job is to condition the way that we as Americans think. And this clip, by the way, which is making the rounds, I have to show you what I'm speaking about. It is just so gross in terms of the adoration, the fawning over Zelensky, when quite literally they were just trying to convince us to be totally chill with getting to work and sending more more and more billions trying to make you think he was a hero fighting for democracy. Yeah, this is CNN's Erin Burnett. She has an opportunity to sit down with Zelensky and ask him questions. And, and here's what she was concerned with. Take a listen. As a human being, so many people look up to you. They rely on you. No one can imagine how hard that is. Do you do, you do anything for your to yourself? Are you ever able to take a minute to to read or to listen to music or something to sort of give yourself that uh, a moment. I have such moments, important, to be in silence, to be alone. Alone, uh, how can I be alone? Alone, I can be with music. What music do you like? Oh, I like ACDC and Ukrainian music. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I like Ukrainian music a lot of because uh, Ukrainian, that's native language. That's why you understand not only music, you understand the words and etc. ACDC, I don't understand all the words <laughs> because of... But you like the so music. It's just incredible. It's like she's quite literally trying to date him. She's, oh, so many people rely on you. Like, what kind of music do you listen to? And how do you find time for you? Could you imagine if when Tucker was interviewing Putin, he asked any of those questions? Like, so many people rely on you, Mr. Putin. What kind of music do you listen to? It's, it's just such a joke. And it's so obvious. And to be clear, that interview was from last year, July 2023. But I'm showing it to you now because it seems that since then there has been this mass awakening. There's a lot of corruption happening in Ukraine. And those of us who have had the courage to talk about it and expose it. And people say, why is it relevant? Because we're sending you money. I, I'm already aware that Putin is corrupt. We're not sending him billions of dollars, all right? There is, as I believe it in the way that I see it, a mass execution of Christians that are happening in Ukraine. Christians should be upset about this. We should be asking questions. It seems like they're just clearing out the region under the guise of fighting an unwinnable war with Russia. There is something that I have said is giving me Bolshevik vibes. Go back and watch our episode talking about what the Bolshevik revolution was. There's something about Zelensky that is not sitting right with me because we control him. And it seems to me that there is an ethnic cleansing that has taken place. But lo and behold, you guys, uh, a network that claims to be 
independent, which obviously it's not independent if you're allowed to be in Ukraine and be reporting any types of news, it's because you are operated by the state. They're shutting down churches. He has uh, Zelensky has put his opponents on in house arrest, right? Saying I, you're not even going to compete with me. He suspended election. It's giving dictator. It's giving psychopath. We should not be funding this psychopath. But Vox, claiming to be completely independent, decided to release what is being referred to as a network of pro of pro Russian pardon disinformation in the West, and they've released twenty six individuals. It's it's really stunning. Uh, just to give you some honorable mentions here, Tucker Carlson, of course, because he went over and talked to Putin. That means automatically he's engaged in disinformation because you should not be allowed to hear from the other person in this war. You're not smart enough, ladies and gentlemen. Only. Aaron Burnett is smart enough to interpret the news for you. Um, John Mearsheimer, shocking that he's made that list. You've got Jimmy Dore on this list. You've got Russell Brand on this list, which is just so confusing to me. Like Russell Brand is, is so much peace and love. He's so happy, but they put him on this list because basically if you are not accepting their narrative, then you should be on the list, which is why I am offended. I'm offended. I said on this show, right when the war broke out, that if there was one person that I could punch in the face and get away with, it would be President Zelensky. And I have held to that firmly. They circulated that clip. They wrote news articles. Kenneth says she would punch Zelensky in the face. Yeah, right, right, right. I just right in the face a couple of times, jab him. That's what I would do. And yet they did not put me on this list. Ridiculous, really. Because these obviously are the individuals that are engaged in disinformation. Now, Lo and behold, if you look at the news today, it's wall-to-wall coverage about the fact that somebody that Putin imprisoned, his rival, um, Alexei Navalny, you may have heard about him. There were the allegations that he was poisoned when he was in the UK, in the UK uh, by the honchos of Vladimir Putin, and then they put him in prison up in Siberia, and it has been reported that he has died, that he collapsed while he was walking. And so there is very obviously a lot of suspicion that this was something that was done that was barbaric and awful and that they did this intentionally to kill him as a rival for speaking out against Vladimir Putin, which is not allowed in these sorts of regimes. And of course, that is awful and that is wrong and it deserves coverage. But, or and, we should be covering the corruption of Zelensky with just as much vigor. And they don't do that, right? They didn't even cover the fact that an American journalist was killed in the exact same fashion, put into a prison because he criticized, while he was in Ukraine, he criticized Zelensky and the Biden regime. And what did they do? They put him into prison and then he died mysteriously. Just weeks after his dad went on Tucker Carlson and said, they are going to kill my son, please help. The mainstream media didn't cover this, they didn't care. Nope, they don't care. Because their narrative is to say that everything Zelensky does is good. Two things can be true at once. I know why people think it's always got to be a villain and a hero story. There can be multiple villains, but we are only funding one of those villains. And he is mass murdering Christians, taking them off of the street and sending them to the front lines to die in a war that he cannot win. Okay? And he is also, as I have said, I think, conditioning us to accept an ethnic cleansing in that region. President Zelensky is a monster. That is my point. Okay? And doesn't mean that Vladimir Putin is good. Two things can be true at once. Hey guys, if you like this video, you will definitely like the full episode even better. You can find it by clicking right here. Oh wow. Zelensky is a monster. According to this story, according to what um, Candice is saying, she's saying that there is an attack on Christianity. There's a, an attack on Christians intentionally putting them in the war front, killing them and doing all sorts of things to them. I just hope that um, there's a wake-up call, right? I hope that there's a wake-up call where, you know, these things are brought to justice, where the right people put these people and make them accountable to their actions. Yeah, there might be powers that might be, you know, powers that be that, you know, that are touchable, but, I mean, what is wrong is wrong, you know? I think people should be called out for their BS, whether, whether they are untouchable or not. My opinion. Um, talking about... Um, Meghan Markle's podcast, you know, she just signed a new deal with Lemonada and I hope that it doesn't fail. Anyway, I did a video about it where it, I, it failed, okay? It, it failed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that. <laughs> it actually failed. I hope that she finds her path. 
I hope that she gets good um, or better or more ambassadorial deals that will help her say what she has to say to support the women. According to Candice, I've never listened to any of her podcasts, but according to Candice, she's saying that her podcasts are, are good, they are inspiring, and they are really nice to listen to, and that she would listen to them, right? Um, I just hope that she doesn't stop, because, I mean, with Spotify, with Lemonada, you know, I just hope that she doesn't actually stop. She keeps pushing until she meets, you know, or she, she gets to where she's actually going, because there are people that actually need to hear her voice. Spotify, Lemonada, shouldn't stop her. You know her dreams or her passion for what she loves to do anyway if you watch this end part of this video i really appreciate you thank you for watching and do well to click on the red subscribe button like this video drop a comment on what you think about president putin and Zel zeloneski sorry about that <laughs> and then um Megan Markle and her podcast. Let me know your thoughts. Let's continue the conversation in the comment section. Until I see you in my next episode. Be good. Bye.